open your ears, and lube up your butthole. It's time for the What Do We Call It podcast. Now, here's your host, it's J-Man. Welcome to the What Do We Call It podcast. I'm J-Man. This is Steiny. Woo! You're going to love this. Roughly one week after my daughter gets her appendix removed, I get a phone call from the Beast saying the girls have lice. Fuck! Oh, yeah, okay. Where but did they get this? We don't know. Okay. Never traced it. I tried to blame her other kid. Sure. Because she's six and she hugs everybody. And doing that went over about as well as you would expect as she flipped the fuck out and told me a bunch of mean shit and called me names. Right. Uh, none of my other kids had it ever when we checked them. Okay. Everybody was clear on my end. So here's the thing. She kept them home from school the next day. And she's like, I'll be the, the one who picks through their hair. I'll handle it. So for once, she's jumping on the grenade. Not because she's become a better mom, but because she doesn't want me to be able to use this against her. Oh. What I said in the previous court case, every time the kids have lice, she dumps them off on me to handle it. Okay. So yeah, it's now a sore spot. So she says she spent eight hours picking through kids' hair. Missed work, you know, wasn't sure how she was going to pay the bills that month because she missed work. Then the the girls come here because it's Friday. You're right. I tell them, before I get here, you are only allowed in the kitchen or the bathroom. That is it. Nowhere with carpet. Fair I don't enough. want anything getting stray just in case one falls off their head. I get them in the bathroom. I spent 10 minutes combing through hair. Sure. With my cheater glass on my fucking reading glasses that are like <laughs> plus three okay they're, yeah i got some they're not quite that magnification but yeah they're the strongest ones you can get at fucking walmart sure i bought them years ago i've been doing this with them with the fucking lice bullshit man, for goddamn good 10 magnification, years man that's yeah guess Check what out. i found more lice nothing oh i fucking found nothing so she did a good job then that's what i told her i texted her i'm like I just want you to know that I went through their head and somehow you did an exemplary job and got every egg and every louse, I guess. And yeah, good job. She's like, wait, what? I'm like, I said, way to go. You did a good job. <laughs> She's not used to praise right. because it's not like I'm a dick who can't give it. She doesn't do things that typically warrant praise as opposed to vitriol because she comes at you like a fucking fireball from a catapult. Oh, I was wondering if it was maybe because you usually follow up praise with like a backhanded compliment or some other derogatory statement. Yeah, I mean, I suppose I could be like, no, you did a really good job at picking the lice. I wish you were as good at not doing drugs or being a cunt as you are at picking lice today. There you go. But I didn't do that. See? Good job. Now, I, I had to do what I do every time we suspect lice, is I have to monitor every so many days. Yeah, because you never know if you missed an egg or if something just was small enough. You only have to fucking miss one. Yeah. That's all it takes. And then it hatches and the whole fucking thing starts all over again. So now this goes on for two weeks that I'm fucking picking through their heads. So this gets us through uh, the end of September into October. Oh, okay. And I found nothing. So that's getting us through the end of September. Now we get into October and a key date is... You know, a week and a half into October is my oldest daughter's birthday. So nobody found anything. She wanted to have a sleepover with some school friends. Mm -hmm. And she did. And then the next day, I am told, oh, no, she's got lice again. I'm like, what? She's yeah. like, yeah, we must have somehow not caught it because it's so bad. Like, what do you mean it's so bad? You you got all of it before? She's like, I know I did, but somehow it's super bad. I'm like, are you sure you see what you think you're seeing? Because when I checked through her head, she has dandruff and scalp flakes. There were no eggs. There was not a louse to be found on either one of them. But the older one just has a drier scalp. Almost to the point where in one spot it looks like cradle cap. Oh, sure. Yeah. So now the beast is like, are you fucking with me? I'm like, I am not. I didn't fucking see anything. So what the fuck? How can it have been that she's had it for weeks and we didn't notice? Because mm -hmm. I've been checking. There's been nothing. So now she goes through it again. 
And she's like, well, I, t- I just got like a bunch of eggs right now. I'm like, you're kidding me. She's like, I'll fucking mail them to you. Not, you know, she'll send them to me. Right. She wants to mail them to me. <laughs> right. For whatever reason. And I'm like, this is fucking banana crackers. And my kid is like, oh, no, not again. Yeah. Right? It's fucking ridiculous that we had that much fighting over this and found whatever she found, right? Right. I get the kids back over here. Guess what I find? Nothing. Fucking nothing. More dandruff. And I call her again, and I'm like, you have got to be shitting me. There is nothing here. And she goes like this, are you gaslighting me right now? Jesus. I'm like, you think (sighs) that I have that little to worry about? That I would sit here and fuck with you about something like this, knowing that it stresses me out beyond belief, and that there's all this extra work that sucks my very precious free time away from me. Absolutely. Where I'm to relax from parenting and work. That, yeah, I'm going to extravagant lengths just to fucking pull one over on you, you goddamn dingbat. No. (laughs) She checks our 10-year-old's head. And she's like, there's some on her too. Again, I check her. Fucking yeah, nothing. 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 So it's it's just so bizarre. I send the kid back to her, right? Because she had her come over just so I could check. Sure. I bring her back. I get a phone call. She's like, I just found three eggs on her now. I'm like, you have got to be fucking shitting me. Right. I Who's went through her head who? for 10 minutes. You're asking if I'm making shit up to fuck with you? Well, I... What do you think, that I don't know what I'm doing? That I don't see what I'm seeing? I'm like, I'm starting to fucking question, unfortunately, because what you say you see and what I don't find, nothing's syncing up. Mm -hmm. There's no evidence of what you're claiming. Well, you think that it's dandruff, but they're like shells from eggs that have hatched. I'm like, no, because they're not even oval shaped. They're all weird fucking shapes of various sizes because they're flakes of scalp that have come off and there's nothing that looks like an eggshell. I have seen the eggshells. This is not ovular. Yeah. It's white, but it's not fucking anything like an egg. It looks like a dried piece of skin, like a dandruff flake. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, she goes through it again and treats the fucking kids' heads, not with, like, rid, but with some other fucking holistic shit. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. And I can't knock it because when she allegedly got it all the first fucking time, she did the same thing. So what am I to do? Do you think what she was putting on her hair is causing the dandruff to get worse? It could be. (laughs) That'd be ironic. It's supposed to be both, like, (laughs) poison-free and botanical, but who fucking knows? Yeah. It's Casa de Beast. She's got hard water like I do. Yeah. Who fucking knows? This kid scratches her head. They don't wash their heads every day. She doesn't condition regularly. Sure. Now, here's where things take a really interesting fucking turn. The older two girls are fine now. But a week and a half later, the beast flips out and says, I have lice. And Lulu has lice. We both have it bad. I'm like, how bad? Really bad. Like, my head is so full of eggs and stuff that, like, oh, my God, I must have missed it for months. I'm like, come on. I said, bullshit. You got to be kidding me. You're fucking shitting me right now. Right. She's like, no, I'm not, okay? So now I'm freaking out because I'm going to have to miss work again, and I don't know who's going to pick through my head, and I was going to give you some of the money I owe you for child support. I'm like, but? She's like, well, but now I have to spend the money on the lice lady because I can't pick through my own head, so I'm going to have that professional lice lady look at her and me, and I don't know, you might as well send the other two over here, and she'll do a package deal for all of us. I'm like, there's nothing on their heads. I just fucking looked again. Yeah. I don't know what you're seeing. I only am finding dandruff. The lice lady? The lice lady. Okay, sorry. I just can't get over that. Anyway. It's multiple people that run a business that professionally pick lice and eggs out. Wow. They will come to your home. I had no idea such a, a service existed and that that's all they did. I it's figured it would just be some other type of nurse that would come to your house. or Definitely a first world problem solution. Yeah, I bet. Fucking A. So, get this. She goes through Lulu's head, and then kind of, you know, like, washes out her own, Mm -hmm. and then has the lice lady come over, who finds absolutely nothing. Uh, Of course. What the fuck? 
And she's so adamant that they were fucking there. And she told the girls, I, I still, I'll send this in the mail to your dad. And I'm like, you don't have to mail me what you think right. is a lice egg. I know what a fucking lice egg looks like. And I picked and I picked and I picked and I picked and I didn't find fucking anything. Right. This whole time. So now it's a matter of, does she forget what they actually look like, even though she's Googling images and says, I've been dealing with lice for years. And I'm like, correction, you've been dealing with lice for a few years. I dealt with the lice every other time throughout all the other years, which are probably like eight more years. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker. I know what I'm doing. I know what to look for. I am the lice whisperer. They speak to me. I see them move on the head. I fucking go into action. So I don't know what the hell's going on that you thought you were the queen of lice world. But then the lice lady came over, didn't fucking find anything, but I don't know. So she's getting really fucking freaked out because it's like, is she fucking hallucinating? Has she done so much meth over the years that like she no longer has those synapses firing off properly? Right. I mean, it's one thing to think you see something and be not sure. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to entirely make up or fabricate with your eyes that then register the image to your brain, which then recognizes things from the past and tells you, yes, you know, like a fucking robot relaying information from fucking side of the head to side of the head. And didn't it ever <clears throat> occur to her that there was no lice? Like she was only ever seeing evidence of the eggs? There was nothing else ever to say that... I mean, you got to connect the dots. And maybe that's the part that's fried. Well, she claims that she fucking found a couple of actual bugs on the kid. Okay. You know, claims. and then, like, a few from her shaking her head out. But, again, she didn't, like, put a piece of tape on him and save him to show him off. And then the lice lady finds nothing. So if the lice lady finds nothing, and you thought there was something, so she didn't really do a job. I mean, she kind of gave you a once over. Yeah. That would mean that if going forward, you find any more bugs or eggs on your head, that she also doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. How many times do you need to hear a song before you recognize the tune? It's you. This is her issue. Not the girls. Not her mom. But like, for fuck's sakes, that eight hours she spent picking and her mom kind of helped. They're both adamant that they found shit. And it could be, but I never witnessed it. And I'm a very seeing as believing type of person. Right. <clears throat> and it's a weird thing to have to fucking argue with somebody over like, they didn't have lice. You imagined it. Because I haven't really said that. But all evidence is suggesting only that. There's no other explanation besides they had them. She cleared it. I searched. Nothing else. You know, there she is interesting things that the brain will do. Like sometimes if you want to find evidence of something you're almost tricking yourself into finding it. You know what I mean? So like the first minute she sees like these flakes, her, her brain is instantly kind of making her think like she's seeing eggs. Like she's just going to that dark place, like worst case scenario type thing. I have no idea. This is kind of, this is interesting. It's an interesting case. Like here's one of the fucking statements she made. That's not dandruff. Okay. I know what dandruff is and she doesn't have dandruff that bad. These were eggshells. So I thought it was eggs. Now it's only eggshells. Right. You're not helping your case any by now kind of morphing the message. And I'm like, well, that just sounds like it's yeah. only fucking flakes, dude. Because how do you only have eggshells but no bugs? Right. They all just said, nah, fuck this. I'm what? getting out of here. You got a ton of shells but not a single bug on the head? Yeah, that doesn't work that way. Without more eggs being laid? Two? Yeah. You know what I mean? If those fuckers hatched, they're already laying eggs again. Because I'm pretty sure they can do that right, almost right away as soon as they're born. Or not, as soon as they hatch. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they go through like four stages once they hatch do of they? growth. Okay. You are the lice whisperer. You I am. I've had this fucking read so much shit on this over the years. I hate it. If I had little boys, I never would have had these problems because I would have just fucking shaved their heads. Yeah. yeah. And then a shampooed. Yeah. The one time my son had it, or supposedly had it, yeah, that was kind of the case. He was already getting his head shaved because he was having a mohawk, so just took the rest off, and yeah, wasn't a problem. But again, no, nobody else that went to the birthday party had lies. Sure. The, the kids had to tell their friends that were there. I'm like, you need to fucking tell your friends. Your mom doesn't want to tell your friends. 
You need to tell your friends. Nobody fucking found anything. None of the other parents. Yeah. Three other parents looked. Nobody found anything. Ta-da. So that's what's interesting, too, about this situation for her. Is most of the time, if there's enough evidence to counter what you're thinking, or really what you have set in your mind, eventually, don't you start to come around? Like, okay, Lace Lady didn't see anything. You other didn't parents see didn't anything. see anything. Yeah, there's right. so many other parties that did not witness what you claimed there was, and now nothing is adding up. A reasonable person, a rational person yes. would come around. That's the key. Yep. You know, so let's just change the scenario a little bit by just switching the operative terms. So let's say there's a mass grave and they dig it up and they think there's dead kids in there. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the government, whoever comes and evaluates it and there's no kids. They're like, no, 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 no. I saw small skeletons and smaller bodies. There were kids. No, there wasn't any. And the medical examiner came out here for the bodies that were here. They were all adults. Right. And everybody that was in there pretty much has been identified and none of them fit the profile of a missing child. So it doesn't seem or appear that there were any children in that mass grave. Then you go, oh, well, what the fuck? I guess. You would think. Yeah. Eventually you come around and go, oh, yeah, I guess maybe I was mistaken. Maybe I didn't see what I thought. Or maybe they were larger than I thought. You know, I guess when you see a skull, it, it looks smaller than you think. You so, know? so here's a less weird scenario, I guess. You have oil spots on your driveway. Uh -huh. You take your car to the mechanic. All the seals are fine. They find no leak. You go home. You think there are new oil spots in the garage. You swear your car's leaking oil. You take it to a different mechanic who doesn't fucking find anything. Mm -hmm. Seals are good. The oil is the proper amount. You're not burning off any. Sure. It's the right oil. And they're not detecting any leaks. So then you would go, uh, maybe these are old oil stains. Is there another vehicle that parks in your garage, perhaps? Who fucking knows? Right. But in that instance, what we're looking at is the context of evidence of an oil leak, but no evidence of the leak itself to verify your theory. Because that's all it is at that point is a hypothesis. Yeah. So you could extrapolate this even farther and just look at today's socio-political climate and how people are refusing to accept evidence. Right. Oh, refusing absolutely. to change their worldview based on solid evidence provided by friends, family, those around them, right? So, <laughs> like flat earthers or people that yeah. think that uh, you know microchips and the fucking COVID vaccines, or, or that, that the election uh, was stolen by John. Biden. John was going to come back. Oh yeah, the election was stolen. Still to this day, you know. Um, Right, you and I talked about it before. Twenty two thousand election, that one sure seems sure seems shady, right? Yeah, the electronic voting machines didn't function properly, right. and then fucking Al Gore lost. Wink. Right, and that sure changed the net course of history, didn't it? Having old uh, George W. in office, who knows if nine eleven happens? Who knows? Yeah, that's exactly where my mind was going. The response: is, yeah. Does Gore say, "Oh, well, fuck"? If the FBI says there's evidence that there might be an attack, then. Let's lock everything down, ground all the planes, and go on a fucking manhunt. Right. You just never know what different leadership in place, what would have happened. Obviously, it isn't what happened. But you had that. You had 2016 where there was election interference. Not saying that anything was changed based on votes. No votes were actually changed. But there was definitely some shadiness. But now you have this outright denial because it didn't fit what you wanted. Right, it didn't fit what you felt should have happened in your small world. Right, you're surrounded by Trump people, so you think there's no way he could have lost. Yeah. Right. So, okay, so that's their evidence they're using to prop up, even though there's this larger voice of everybody else within the country going, "No, it wasn't stolen," and how dare you claim that we rigged our election? You know, each state, especially these Republican states that went through in. Uh, anyway, well, look at Giuliani who just got sued. Oh, yeah. And then he gets that gift of $148 million payment for defaming yeah, uh, those vote counters two, or whatever. Those two uh, women down there. Yeah. And then he's doing it right again afterwards, saying, no, I meant everything I said. They were, like, stealing the election all this. <laughs> he's going to get himself in trouble again. He's not going to learn his lesson. You know. I haven't thought to ask the Beast for the evidence if she still has it. I would oh, love to. Yeah, she might still have that in an envelope somewhere. Yeah, that would be fucking great, but... 
Mm, who knows? Because things disappear there. I once gave her medical cards for the girls, and she lost them in the span of 24 hours. That away. Just by setting them on top of her mail pile. Oh, maybe? So, sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, fucking explain that one, Clarissa. Interact with the show on Twitter at what do we call it? That is at what do we call it? You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash what do we call it podcast show for the what do we call it podcast. I'm J-Man. This is Steiny. And that's the end. Yeah.